When I finished the painting, you see she tried to put the painting in her car, she had a maximal car. Mm -hmm. The painting was four feet, four and a half feet long. Ah. No, six feet long, I remember. Mm -hmm. Six feet back long, back and a half wide. You see how she, she takes some red cloth, uh, try to tie it up, drop all the way down to Virginia with a piece. Mm -hmm. I said, why can't you wear your husband tomorrow with his SUV, pick it up, mm -hmm. make it safe and all that. She said, Jojo, I want that painting in my house tonight. <laughs> playing African nation cops and you know we're a great country in soccer in the world. No doubt. So what's the name of this one? Oh uh, Sunset over the Red Sea. Okay. Then uh, we went there. It happened to me when I came back here going over uh, Colorado man I saw that sunset over that diesel man it was just so beautiful and mm -hmm. I recollect mm -hmm. When I was younger and I went down in Egypt, that sunset over the Red Sea was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see just the sea is red. I mean, when I say red, over here I even add a little bit of artistic, mm -hmm. you know, ability, mm -hmm. you know, flow into it. But mm -hmm. when you say red, you see the sea is red and the sun is setting right there. And I, this is just a realist, you know, realist picture of an experience of my, of my life experience. And, on the canvas, and I believe it's a nice bedroom piece, you know. No it's just like sunset after a hard day, you go to bed, you know, mm -hmm. go to sleep. Mm -hmm. What about some of the pieces that had the CDs incorporated into them? Exactly, what, what, what was that about? Yeah, I mean, you know, I should be let alone years around my brush and colors and everything I've been finding on the canvas. And I get to a point when I believe that symbolism is something very good in terms of expression. For instance, we know coming, for instance, to the car industry, you know, when you want to buy a car, if you get a nice Mercedes 600 black color, that means that excellence. It means, you know, if you want to put it purple, it might look female, you know. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, that's a female color. Symbolism today influences anything. Mm -hmm. Symbolism, you know. Sometimes you see, for instance, I put the date leaves on this canvas just to show that this is the bush. Mm -hmm. It's rough, mm -hmm. you know. Over when I put this, when I put uh, the uh, CDs, it's some amount of music, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just musical. It just lets you know here we're in the presence of some nice sounds and mm -hmm. nice rhythm. And like you're gonna see some music sheet and some. Uh, I have some with some vinyls yeah. and plastics and cloth and pictures and anything. It's just because I don't want to start a. I cannot have a, a speech around it to say, oh, because the music writes something, mm -hmm. I just blow a CD. When you see a CD, you know this music. music right. mm -hmm. What's the name of that piece here? A fish dance. What's going on with this, bro? What's the name of this one? This is the night party. My party? Night party. Night party. Yeah, inspiration comes from my roots. I'm born in a uh, in a very conservative family, in uh, the tribe we come from, we very, very, very conservative. I need to put it that way because all of the country is the market country. Mm -hmm. We're the president, governors of provinces and all that. Mm -hmm. But we're still in the countryside, still have kings and warriors and wise men around the king. Mm -hmm. And the village have the rules of the village. Mm -hmm. So there's some, they have some rituals like initiation, you know, all of those kind of things they have in the village. And they have this part of once a month for the people. Which they call it the print party. And in that party, a lot of things going on. And for me, like I was talking about symbolism, I believe when you see a party, it's just like when you go to the club, mm -hmm. that light show. Right. Uh -huh. It just, no question, people having, having a fun. Good, that's right. That's having a right. good time, right? right? So I believe these people are having a good time. When you go to the section, you're going to see somebody blowing a horn, you know, somebody smoking his pipe on the corner, you know, his wife home, man, right there enjoying the food. Party, you know, blowing the flute, playing the drums, and it's just a, 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 a expression of a nice party, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful piece. Exactly. It shows. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you see uh, the horn for me is a bowl, the bowl of horn, because that's where the sun to 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 to, 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 to announce that the queen is coming out. Uh -huh. When they blow the horn, boom, the queen just come out of that that hurts. 
dressed with all these beads and gold and all that you can imagine. Then she show up and sit on the stage and waiting for the performance. And they perform like a couple of couple of days and she go back to the to the to the palace. Mm -hmm. I mean this piece has a lot of movement in it. Not only in color, but just uh, the shape of, of the instruments. Mm -hmm. Um, the heads, this has a lot of dynamic stress in there, a lot of ovals and a lot of swings. Yeah, I believe, you know, I've been waiting for this for you. We dance, you know, people, it's, it's, not, it's, not, the most, it's not just, you know, uh -huh. like, for instance, the pop beats, right? Yeah. People just make the square thing. Yeah. It's a lot of, you know, people flow a lot. The so. rhythmic movement. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, it was a oh, color. Cool. From the beginning, it was a color. People keep saying from the beginning was the words, like in the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, at the beginning was words, but I say, I believe it was Carlos. Um, over here, there's a great artist that I really uh, admire his work, is Goka, Alfred Goka. Goka. Yeah, he's a famous artist. Mm -hmm. And I like his flow, but over here, I add on to my, what people keep saying, Georgia's signature, the black line. You see this black line yeah. around the colors? Uh -huh. People keep saying, Georgia, that's your signature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I just get inspired by Goku pieces, mm -hmm. and I created and add my flow onto it. Mm -hmm. And he gave this piece. Mm -hmm. And actually, the name of this piece is Dance with My Lover. Mm -hmm. Nice. Wow. What, what are the people behind the Yeah, I was going to ask what, about what are they doing? Yeah, actually, <laughs> The people who dancing are the same people who's watching. Oh. <laughs> over here's the female, uh, over here's the male, they're the female. Mm -hmm. And they're blind and together. So at the beginning of the dance, anybody is color. When they're blind, in, when they dance, you cannot tell what's going on. Mm -hmm. They become one. Mm -hmm. And the vibrance just make them, you know, blind to different colors, you can tell. And what about this one you working on? Oh. Georgia? What's that about? You know, this piece is all about, I call this one, the artist. She's an artist. Ah, I see the brush. Yeah. Okay, okay. But it's intriguing. When I say she's an artist, you're going to see this black, beautiful, full, juicy black woman, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. With a brush. Yeah. I mean, she's an artist because women deliver. Women yeah. give birth. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're architect of, of, of life. Of life, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you look at her, she's so perfect. She like, mm, I need to help this one. You understand? <laughs> yeah. And she yeah. have that brush. She said, I am the artist because we are the world designer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. We as Damn. artists are the world designers. That's right. Believe it or not. We're at the top of anything. I sometimes say, like, after God is artist, people laugh. <laughs> because in anything, in anything, you can believe, you can best believe, even on the back, anything in this world have art work into it. Mm -hmm. From clothing, food, mm -hmm. shoes, car, streets, mm -hmm. anything, planes, art have to sit first, have a concept, even the plate, the floor. What can you name? Mm -hmm. And God using us. That's right. We're the good. artists, so we're the tools of God. Mm -hmm. We might be, you might be a prolific artist because you, you right have a connection with God and he just keep, you know, mm -hmm. feeding you with great ideas and mm -hmm. just bring it out. Mm -hmm. So I believe, I call this piece the artist because you look at her, she just so perfect. It's just like, if, I was about to draw a woman that I want in my life. I'm gonna draw her like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she just with a brush, she's gonna have a brush right here. You, you, you come in with the free flowing art, mm -hmm. but then you'll get a client or a customer says, I want this. Mm -hmm. How do you make that transition from, uh, you know, I'm putting my paint on here the way I want to, mm -hmm. kind of meeting the criteria that they're asking you for? Exactly. It's kind good. of they, when they set limitations on you. Okay, that's good. It's always good to put yourself into math. When I say put yourself into math, it's like never believe you know everything. And anytime when somebody puts you to work or puts you to experience, it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Because you learn another philosophy, which is try to travel to somebody's brain, mm -hmm. somebody's vision, mm -hmm. and take something out of it. Mm -hmm. And, and put it there mm -hmm. and let it appreciate it because a lot of us have it in the heart, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to take it out. Mm -hmm. 
And when you put it, they say, oh, that's it. I thought about it. Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't even know how to bring it out. You know what I mean? So anytime is a challenge to me, and I love that challenge. Most of my special order I do, and you won't believe it. Most of my best pieces are special orders. I, I was getting ready to add to that. You know, you become almost like a translator for the people. Right. You know, you're able to translate their ideas onto canvas. And, it's, and, then, and like you said earlier, this is really challenging. And it challenges you. And it makes you a better um, artist. Mm -hmm. And to add on what you said, those are some of your best pieces. And you would have never did them on your own. I will never leave them alone. I have yeah. this painting I did for Sandra. She's living in Fort Church, even for the Fort Church in Virginia. Man, she was, I've been having this little, you know, tray. I was really not happy all those weeks when she put the order in, right? And I wasn't ready. She left a deposit. When she was calling, and I'm like, Sandra, I haven't started your piece. She like, Joe, Joe, you know, I need it from before Christmas. I said, Sandra, if you're going to be so stiff, you come back and I'll give you your money back. Because honestly, I don't want to paint a devil on the canvas and pretending I'm serving you. Because I don't feel it. Mm -hmm, I don't right. feel it. The colors are there, you bring me some sample to build up idea, mm -hmm. but I need to make sure my cake is going to come out of the oven a piece. Mm -hmm. right. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I put all the ingredients, I have to make sure my cake come out of the oven one piece. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she'd be like, oh, Jojo. She'd get me, even leave me some, you know, message, sad message. But guess what? One day I get inspired. That was like two weeks ago when I finished a painting. When she walked out of this door, you know what she said? That's it, perfect. I can believe it. And my friend Michael said she needs to leave a bottle of champagne before she take that penny. <laughs> because one day he came here and she was here. She's like, where's Jojo? His studio is still closed. He said, no, Jojo, you know, Jojo don't paint all these days. She said, but still even don't paint, he still have people come to take on his art. Say he's going to depression and all that. She said, but Jojo, she took my mind and said, man, it's about money, forget it. Jojo give you money tomorrow morning. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I, when I finished the painting, you see she tried to put the painting in her car. She had a Maximo car. Mm -hmm. The painting was four feet, four and a half feet long. Ah. No, six feet long, I remember. Mm -hmm. Six feet long by two and a half wide. Man, she, oh, she tied it on the back of a car. You see how she, she takes some red cloth, uh, try to tie it up, drop all the way down to Virginia with a piece. I said, mm -hmm. why can't you wait your husband tomorrow with his SUV, pick it up, mm -hmm. make it safe and all that. She said, Jojo, I want that painting in my house tonight. <laughs> I keep telling you, see, I took 24 hours, I, I traveled 24,000 miles mm -hmm. from my hometown to be here, and I'm selling art. Why can't you? Mm -hmm. Because people are so scared. Yep. You know, they want to make sure that paycheck is square after That's three right. weeks, you know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. And they just want to make sure. But there's one thing they forgot, when they look at life like that, we are so talented, but how many of us are using the talent God blessed them with just to fulfill a golden life? How That's many? right. Yep. Not many. Not at many. All. You know, this is a risk, but it's a good risk. You know why? When you have the good, the good risk is when you have the risk with God, when you have your faith with God, because mm -hmm. every day I sell a penny. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm not like, someone like, I'll be back. Some people are like, you're just going to worry. I tell you, I don't need to worry. Yeah. You get my art or not. Yeah, you go. I don't force That's people right. to buy my art That's because right. all the generation, mm -hmm. maybe your grand grandson supposed to have a Jojo, a famous Jojo. Mm -hmm. I'll be dead, gone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Auctions and whatever collection are going to be raising billion dollars around a piece of cloth. Right. I slept only when I had a dream and lay, put my vision on the canvas, mm -hmm. and I'm gone. That's it. You know what? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you didn't fit your spirit because when I was here, instead of being right there chilling in the city, look at the skyscraper driving mm -hmm. on the, you know, on the one way street, you're mm -hmm. supposed to be in a museum gallery, feed your spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know exactly. Yeah, you have to be around us because these are not just colors on canvas. Mm -hmm. This, this is philosophy. That's right. This is a vision. This is the best part. Thank you.